Hi guys, we're going to learn about many different habitats. Today, we're going to learn about our first habitat, the woodland. A habitat is a place where animals and plants live together. Say the word habitat. Good job. Say it again. Habitat. Animals find all the things they need to survive in their habitat. Animals find food, water, and shelter in their habitat. These are animals' basic needs. Plants find all the things they need to survive in their habitat too. Plants find nutrients in soil, air, water, and light in their habitats. These are plants' basic needs. This is a picture of a woodland habitat. The woodland is also sometimes called the woods or forest. The woodland habitat has many trees and lots of thick leaves and branches. It is shady under all of the trees in the woodland. There are plants everywhere. Lots of animals find shelter in the plants that live in the woodland. Listen to find out what types of plants and animals live in the woodland. Look and listen carefully to see if you can remember some of the animals and plants shown in the pictures, because I'm going to ask you to name them for me when we are done. Look all around. Do you see the tall trees? Do you see the lush green ferns? Do you see the path leading into the shady forest? The word shady means hidden or covered from the sun. You can see the woodland habitat, but you can't see me. I'm hiding in my nest high up in the tree, but I would love to come down and meet you. Hi, my name is Suma Squirrel. Welcome to my woodland habitat. Today, I'm going for a hike in the woods to visit my plant and animal friends who live here with me. The way hike means to walk outside for a long distance. I've got my trusty walking stick to help me keep my balance as I hop over logs and bushes. I'm going to walk quietly and carefully down the path and see what I can see. Is that a deer peeking out from behind the tree? I bet it's searching for some delicious green leaves to eat for lunch. I wonder what else I will see on my hike today. Oh, oh, I better tiptoe quietly through the forest. I certainly wouldn't want to bother the black and white striped skunk that is perched on that log. The word tiptoe means to walk very quietly on your toes. It might try to scare me away by lifting its tail and spraying a stinky spray. And over by that fern, I see a furry rabbit sniffing the air with its nose. I think it is trying to smell the scent of the other animals nearby. I will walk very carefully so I do not disturb the birds building their nests in the trees. Up in the branches of a tree, I see a robin's net built out of sticks and grass. It is filled with fragile blue eggs that will hatch into chicks. The way fragile means easily broken or not strong. The baby robins will be very hungry for worms once they hatch from their eggs. Just over there in another tree is a mother bear and her cubs. Maybe they are climbing the tree to look for some delicious honey to eat. Farther down the path, I see two baby skunks playing on a fallen log. One has his tail raised in the air. I better creep away slowly so I don't disturb them. I think I'll stop for a minute and take a peek inside this fallen log resting on the cool, damp forest floor. The way damp means just a little bit wet. I can see many forest animals making their homes near this damp log. The raccoon likes to hide and rest inside the log during the day, 
when the sun sets, it will venture out into the forest to find something to eat. In front of the log, I see a spider spinning a sticky web. It will wait patiently and try to catch insects for its dinner. Wow! If I use my magnifying glass to look closely at the trunk of this tree, I can see mushrooms and soft green moss growing. Mushrooms are a tasty treat that I love to eat. My magnifying glass is perfect tool for investigating some of the tiny insects that are making their homes in plants that live in the forest. If I look very closely. I can see an army of ants crawling all over this rotten log. I can also see beetles munching on fresh green leaves. Gluck, 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 gluck. If I listen very carefully, I can hear water gushing over rocks and logs. I think I have hiked all the way to the stream that is running through the forest. Many animals come to the stream to get a drink of water or to hunt for food. Slurp, slurp, slurp! I hear deer lapping up water to drink. I hear the beak of a woodpecker as he drills into bark of a tree, trying to find insects to eat. I'll take a closer look and see what else I can see near the stream. Right over there on that warm rock, a snake has found a spot to sun itself. The snake is keeping its body warm by soaking heat from the rock. Right nearby, a fox is waiting in the stream to get a drink. After it gets a drink, it will stand as still as a stone and wait to catch a fish. Farther down the stream, I see a mother deer and her fawn. That have come to the stream bank to quench their thirst. The way bank. It means the edge of a body of water, like a stream. I think they might hear me talking because they are pricking their ears as if they hear a sound. I'm going to leave slowly and quietly so that I do not disturb them in their woodland home. I sure am tired after a long hike in the woods. I think I'm going to find some acorns and berries to eat for dinner and return to my nest in my tree. There. I will be safe in the shelter of my home, and I can eat some dinner and take an afternoon nap. I can't wait to tell my brother Sammy Squirrel about all the animals and plants I saw today in our very own woodland habitat.